Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna do the 16 critique video. So let's get started. And I have pre-typed the names. So this one is the first one. I really like the water uh, context in this one. It seems like there are a little bit rainbow in here. Maybe it's uh, you are using some uh, prism. So I love the uh, a little bit of touch of the rainbow near the water also. So from the three overall consistency standpoint, um, these two flower they are nice with the light. So but I, I will I will separate it out uh, with a portrait. So what I mean is post a flower and then you post another uh, portrait and then post another flower. But uh, overall, I like the portrait, the soften softness of the portrait, like bokeh out, and you're trying to experiment in the prism as well. So good job. Um, that that's the only feedback I have uh, is to make sure that uh, al alternatively pose flower and um, just like the first one right here. But the first one, uh, this one is black and white. I will post um, maybe choose choose one consistency pattern either uh, co colorful row in a row or black and white in a row instead. So that's my take on that. Oh, sorry. Next one. So this one uh, um, for the f first two rows, it seems the portrait uh, is too tight in the space in terms of space for me so it feels uh, tight uh, space maybe it's because of the cropping and also um, the lines uh, right here kind of uh, distracted uh, from the head part a little bit so uh, what you can do is ask the model to step back a little bit so that it has more headroom between the uh, black column and the head part so um, and and the top up is getting too tight I think you can post a portrait a tight portrait and then you can post a uh, post uh, like like this one the environmental context and then then you can post another portrait so it space out the feet a little bit just like what you did right here just uh, and then close up and then you pose a and then you can just stay consistency for the next uh, two rows that will be good so next one so I really like the uh, consistency of using the same ratio all the way and I think the tone is consistent also so good job and only thing is that I have been talking about in all my videos make sure that the lines are not stand out if if this one doesn't have lines, uh, it looks cleaner. Uh, with the column in the back right here, it kind of cut it a cut it a little bit. So that's my only uh, advice on that. Otherwise, uh, nicely kept, uh, consistent fee. I like the sunlight uh, back in the back also. So backlit uh, shot. I really like backlit shots also. So keep it up. Next one, I like the flower vibes matches the lips color also, so nicely done, and a little bit more, a little bit of uh, the white space right here, and then it tilted to the left a little bit. It's not parallel. I will pan over and then just more focus on the same color background just like this uh, maybe crop it closer because uh, this white area right there kind of like acts like it cut across the image a little bit so but uh, the flower vibes uh, the red matches the color of the lips is really nice so I like that one next one Oh, I, I like the sunlight uh, in this shot. Really lifestyle, really nice. Uh, like it, it makes me feel good. Like when I see the sunlight like that, and then sitting facing toward the sunlight. 
so it, it's nice uh, nicely done with the tone also um, I will crop it closer because the edges has some dot in here you can see on the most left edge it has some dots it kind of like create a little bit of distraction but not too much I will just uh, crop it square like this for example I can crop it like this it makes even stronger uh, viewer impact on the skirt the skirt has nice uh, the dress has nice blue against the yellow color of the car and the overall tone of the building also so so this image is nicely done the only thing advice is that I I want to crop closer a little bit so that's just my opinion on that maybe you have other thought on this picture also uh, you can let me know in the comment below also um, otherwise uh, good job this one the environmental context portrait so it's nice on the boat I think you are trying to create three short similar series in a row also nice uh, use of bokeh and sunlight like the sunlight vibes is very nice so uh, it's nice that um, you, you like the backlit shot also so just like this one it's very nice lifestyle also so anything related to sunset light I like sunset light and this one is nice hair flip also and from the feet uh, consistent standpoint just make sure that um, the horizon is uh, consistent also because if you have three horizons next to each other they look very nice independently each other but uh, when they look across this one probably around top half and then this one around low half maybe when they are next to each other kind of like offset a little bit and nice use of our leading line in this picture also by the way so next one nice framing uh, with the background uh, conversion converging to the uh, body of the model so I really like that this uh, column right here a little bit distracting a little bit but I like the color of the yellow outfit so probably I would ask the model sit more toward the uh, right hand side and then you turn your camera make sure that all this net clean like looks clean without the column so just be sure be aware of uh, posing next to any strong color column kind of like uh, create a little bit of distraction but uh, the first one I really like the um, like the leading lines for the portrait so great job and this one yeah hair flip I like the hair flip and the tone in this one from the feet consistency standpoint okay this one is another one with the column just uh, make sure that because um, the column has the same color it kind of breaks the image in half when you look from outside in the square format so and there's a little bit of light up there kind of distracting also so you can post the portrait in in this way uh, so that it's blur out the street background but it still maintain the context of the uh, city behind you so be sure of all those little lines like that for example this one has a little bit of strong black lines right there you can just crop it closer like that so it's just uh, my uh, this is just my thought on it maybe you have other thoughts also on this one so this is just what I feel like when I first look at the picture um this one also for example if the branches uh even though it's blur out it kind of like sticking out of the head a little bit so you can just uh, turn your camera angle maybe uh 30 degree to the left and then shoot another side so that uh the cleaner background uh, above the head so but other than that i like the overall theme of leading lines the use of lines in this account so great job 
So this one, the tone, the brown tone is nice. And let's see, I like the sunlight, sunlight style also in this one. Make sure that uh, the cropping is not cropping too much uh, of the head. Because uh, for example, this one on, on this uh, row right here, it's cropping too much that you can only see the mouth. Uh, the, the eyes got cut off. So just make sure that uh, leaving some headroom in it. Nicely framed with the uh, leaves. So you can space it out with the close up far away and then close up one so just to space it out like that but other than that i like the sunlight uh, vibes in this picture next one another great tone account so i really like the tone in this one especially this one has a nice mood with the hair uh, flowing also so really nice really love that only thing is that um, I will crop out this little white bokeh in the upper right corner. It, even though those are little things, I want to crop it out. So I will just crop it out like that. It will create a stronger impact and cleaner background. So just be aware of all those smaller details. Because uh, like, a little bit of white dot can kind of like distracted the eyes looking toward the top a little bit. So just my opinion on that other than that the whole account the vibes are consistent the tone are consistent nicely done with the bokeh also so great job and i think the next one is the last one so nice leading lines using a track in this photo and i like the tone also and uh, two landscape together might be um my, these two landscape is nice individually but uh, in order to create an interesting fee maybe you post this one and then you post a close up with this uh, structure and then you post another landscape instead of two landscape next to each other unless they are cohesive uh, with the contacts with each other other than that um, I think I would uh, post one like this and then post another one different totally different other uh, from the beach and then i post another one if i have another one coming so um that's just my opinion on that one and so the tone is nice and then leading line is nice so keep it up with the um tone and then the leading line style so so this is uh, today's uh, 16th video. So thank you so much for your support and see you next time. Bye.